Good day and welcome to 501 Matli, where we work smart, not hard. In today's problem, we're given this diagram of two circles of unit length and sandwiched in between them is a tiny square, where to determine the length of the square. Pause the video here and see what you can come up with. I'm going to solve it this way. So first, let's begin by making some construction lines. For example, we know that that's going to be a radius of length 1 because by definition, the distance from the center to any point on the circumference is the radius. Let's then call the side length of the square x. And then we're going to make that construction line such that it is parallel to the base of the diagram. So if that is x on the right, that will also be x over there on the left. Then when we look at this diagram, we can see that that little portion at the bottom is x. The entire height there is the radius of 1. So that distance that is the height of the triangle will be 1 minus x. What would be the base of the triangle? Well, we don't know. Let's call it y. So currently we have two variables, but shortly we'll be able to reduce them down to just one variable. Let's see. We have a right angle triangle, so we can apply Pythagoras' theorem where the base is y and the height is 1 minus x. Simplifying, we have that y squared plus 1 minus 2x plus x squared is equal to 1. We're adding 1 on both sides, so we can subtract 1 from both sides, and that will give us y squared minus 2x plus x squared is equal to 0. Solving for y, we'll transpose the minus 2x and the positive x squared, and their signs will switch. And then to find y, we will square root both sides, so y will be the square root of 2x minus x squared. Let's hold on to that for a little bit. Next, let's make some other construction lines. So we know that the radius is 1. So that's 1 on the left and that's 1 on the right. We can draw some lines parallel to those as well. At the bottom, we know that is x. And previously, we had that that was y. And on the right, that will also be y. So since those two lines are parallel to each other and they go from exactly the same points vertically, then we can say that y plus x plus y is equal to 1 plus 1. Simplifying, we'll have that 2y plus x is equal to 2. Transposing and solving for y, we'll subtract the x and then divide by the coefficient of the y. So we'll have that y is equal to 2 minus x all divided by 2. So we can also make another substitution because previously we knew that y is equal to the square root of 2x minus x squared. So we'll have that the square root of 2x minus x squared is equal to 2 minus x all divided by 2. Unfortunately, we have a square root, but fortunately, we can get rid of it easily by squaring both sides. So let's see what we get when we do so. When we square both sides, the square and the square root on the left are going to disappear and we'll be left with just 2x minus x squared. And when we square the 2 minus x all divided by 2, we'll get 4 minus 4x plus x squared all divided by 4. Let's transpose that 4 and we'll multiply by it. So 4 times 2x will give us 8x and 4 times negative x squared will give us negative 4x squared. We basically have here a quadratic, so we need to transpose and bring everything all on one side and have it set equal to 0. In doing so, we'll have 8x minus 4x squared minus 4 plus 4x minus x squared equals 0. Simplifying, minus 4x squared and minus x squared will give us negative 5x squared. 8x plus 4x gives us 12x. And then we have minus 4, that's equal to 0. We can solve this by factorizing using the AC method as it is called. Negative 5 times negative 4 will give us a positive 20. So what two numbers can multiply to give 20, but at the same time add up to give you 12? That would be 10 and 2. So we're going to replace that 12x with positive 10x and positive 2x. Then we'll factorize by grouping. So from the first two terms, we can factor a negative 5x. And in brackets, we'll have x minus 2. And then from the second two terms, we can factor a positive 2. And also in brackets, have x minus 2. So since we have x minus 2 common to both, when we factorize, it will be x minus 2 times negative 5x plus 2 equals 0. Solving, either x minus 2 is equal to 0 or negative 5x plus 2 is equal to 0, which gives us that x is equal to 2 or x is equal to positive 2 fifths. So it looks like we can have two answers, but not quite. x equals 2 cannot work because 
the entire distance from the center of the circle on the left to the center of the circle on the right is 2 and the square can't be that it's obviously smaller so that answer doesn't work it has to be 2 fifth that's the answer in general if you notice since our circles were of unit length anytime you have two circles that are tangent to each other like this and you have a small square touching both of them at the bottom like that then that little square its side length will always be two fifth of the radius of those circles so did you get it right if so comment below and as always if you found this video useful or you liked it please hit that like button share with others and subscribe if you're new here